This is the video to show you how to access the ePortfolios so that you can download and keep them on your local device. So when June 1st comes and the server is shut down, you still have access to the content that was uploaded to this ePortfolio. So if you go to our SD72 homepage, click on the sign and drop down menu and click on portal. The login screen will appear here. Use your username and email address that the students use to access the student devices. Logging in will land you on the hub. Clicking on the blue My ePortfolio button will take you directly to the student's portfolio. It will land on the page of the current grade that they are in. You can change this grade by clicking on the archive link, selecting the drop down menu for grade, and scrolling through and find the page that has the existing ePortfolio content. Once you've seen what grades the student has the portfolios in, you can start the export process. Click on the export button. Select the grades by holding down the control button on a PC or the command button on a Mac. Click export. This will export it to your downloads folder. When it has completed downloading, exit out of this window and open up your downloads folder. It'll be in a zip file. If you right click on the zip file, click extract all, it will then ask you where you would like to extract this to. Click on the Browse button. Create a new folder on your desktop. Select that folder and click Extract. When it is complete, you will see these three items. Clicking on the HTML, the index.html, will bring up uh, a page similar to a web page. This will allow you to navigate through and select the content that was included in your child's ePortfolio. Clicking on it will display the content. Clicking on the different grades on the left will allow you to see the content for those specific grades. Be sure to keep that folder together. Do not delete any of the files within these folders here because this is actually checking back or indexing the content that's in here.